The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, I rise on behalf of United Future to support the motion that is before the House at the moment. Mr Speaker, on the Wellington waterfront, there is a simple plaque to commemorate the arrival and the departure of the American troops in 1942. It no longer stands in its original place. Uh, for members who are familiar with the geography of the waterfront, somewhere adjacent to the current cruise ship terminal would be where those ships arrived and sailed from. The waterfront has changed considerably in the 70 years. Our country has changed considerably in the 70 years. But the simple legend on that plaque endures. And it says, if you ever need a friend, you have one. And that was the sentiment of the time. And Mr Speaker, I think that when we from the luxury of this distance reflect back on those circumstances in that time, the poignancy of those words becomes stronger. Because as others have acknowledged, in 1942, a large proportion of New Zealand's defence forces were fighting for our freedom in far off places, in Africa, in parts of Europe, or in parts of the Pacific. And there was a sense of our exposure in this country. And the arrival of the American forces, apart from any of the other variants that they may have introduced while they were here, gave our people a sense of security that our well-being was once again being looked after. It was an act of friendship. It was an act that created a bond between nations that through ups and downs has endured for the last 70 years. And Mr Speaker, as others have acknowledged, friendship is a two-way street. You show loyalty and support for those who need it. You also have a certain ability to speak freely and to share differences. And both the United States and New Zealand in the intervening 70 years have shared occasions where they have spoken frankly and bluntly to each other in the way that only true friends can. But what does carry forth and what characterises always, even at our darkest moments, the relationship between our two countries is this overbearing statement of friendship. If you have a friend, if you ever need a friend, you have one. It was as true in 1942 as it has become today. And Mr Speaker, while none of us have direct memory of that time, what we can take solace from is the events that occurred. But in focusing on those few words, we can understand the feeling of our country and we can see its modern translation. Mr Speaker, those were very dark days for New Zealand. It was very good for this country to have the friend that it did. And today it's appropriate that we commemorate, celebrate and offer our respects to those who made those sacrifices. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Speaker, in the absence of government business statement at the beginning of the day, it's my understanding of the intention of government uh, next no, order, week to move. Order, the, uh, the uh, acting leader of the House was about to make a business statement now. Well, well, sorry, sir, he didn't do it at the beginning. He didn't stand up then. No, order, the, the, the business committee I had agreed that this uh, motion would be dealt with at the commencement of today's business. Uh, the, does the acting leader of the House wish to make a statement? The Honourable Nathan Guy. When the House resumes on Tuesday the 19th of June, the Government intends to hold the combined three-hour debate on the second readings of the Appropriation 2011-12 Supplementary Estimates Bill and an impress...